in order to understand a cube we should definitely understand its sides and understand its basics first so let's consider this as a cube and how many total sides are there in a cube yes we have six sides how one two three and back side of two back side of three and the opposite side of one so we have totally six sides how many adjacent sides can be there yeah let's check for two okay so for two three is an adjacent side one is definitely adjacent side and this side on this portion there will be an adjacent side even here there will be an adjacent so totally one two three four so four adjacent side and how many opposite side it has let's consider again two so opposite side will be on this direction so what it will have is one so totally we have six sides four adjacent side for particular number and one opposite side for particular number so adding that particular number that is two here so totally six we have Okay, let's start discussing very important problem that is folded version and unfolded version of cube. They may ask you to find the folded version of this unfolded cube. So, let's see an example. This one with following some tricks. I'll give you some tricks from where you can easily identify which is the right cube of this unfolded version. So, let's see, we have three or four types of cube pattern. First is this type of pattern. So, as we already know that we have only one opposite side of a number and it has four adjacent side in a cube. So, let's start here. So, what is opposite side of one will be five. Okay, what will be the opposite side of 3? It will be 6. So, these two adjacent side will become the opposite side to each other. So, this is the pattern for here. So, let's move on here. Here we can see what we have to do here is we have to skip one number. For example, we skipped 3 here and fixed with 5. So, same thing applies here. We have to skip 4. So, 3 is opposite to 6. Okay. So, 5 will be opposite to 4. So, these two numbers will be opposite to each other in the cube. Let's try this particular type. Okay. What we have to do is skip one number. So, 2, we are skipping 3 and we are going for 4. So, opposite of 2 will be 4 opposite of 3 will be 5 and these two adjacent side will be opposite to each other so moving on to this particular type same trick applies here so these two things are opposite to each other and 2 and 4 are opposite 3 and 6 is opposite if suppose we had this type of pattern given in the question what we have to do is we have to take this first number skip the second number and the third number will be opposite of the first number so same thing we have to apply here so the remaining number 5 and 4 will be opposite to each other let's try our first question let's identify which cube can be formed from this unfolded paper so unfolded cube so let's find the opposite number first so we can see 2 is opposite to 4 okay 1 is opposite to 6 and 5 is opposite to So, let's check the options, okay. So, first, let's check the option number 1. So, what we can see is 3 and it has opposite 
of 5. It is opposite of 5. So, we cannot find 5 here. So, this side is right. And we can see 6. So, opposite of 6 is 1. But we can see that 1 here in the adjacent side. So, this is wrong. So, let's move to the next one. We can see 1. Okay, opposite of 1 is 6. We cannot see 6 here. So, that side is right. And 3. Opposites of 3 is 5. So, that is coming here as adjacent. So, that is also wrong. Let's move here. 2. Opposite of 2 is 4. Yeah, we can find 4 here as an adjacent. So, this is also completely wrong. Let's try this final one. So, opposite of 1 is 6. We cannot find 6 here. Right? Opposites of, sorry, opposite of 3 is 5. We cannot find 5 here also. So, 2 sides right. Opposite of 4 is 2. We cannot find 2 also here. So, definitely the answer will be this. The cube made from this unfolded version will be this. So, let's move to the second question with different shapes on it. Okay. So, let's find the opposite sides first. So, this is the opposite side of this. And this will be opposite side of this. And these two will be opposite sides. Let's check the first option. So, first option we can see this particular. Let's take it as rectangle. So, opposite side of rectangle is triangle. So, this option is coming as the wrong one because these two are in adjacent side. So, let's try this. So, small square has opposite side of S type of symbol. So, that is not there. So, this side is right. And this symbol has opposite side of circle and that is also not present in the cube. So, two sides are right. Let's try the third one. The triangle has opposite side of the rectangle. So, even the rectangle cannot be find, found here. So, we have to select this because it's a right cube. Let's try the other one also. Okay, so let's see here, this rectangle has opposites of triangle. So, this is also a wrong one because it is coming in adjacent side. So, let's try this circle one. Circle one has opposite of, opposite side of this symbol. So, that is coming here as an adjacent side. So, this is also wrong. So, we find the right cube which can be formed from this particular unfolded cube. So, this is that easy. So, this is the trick. Hope you guys understood and let's meet in another video. Bye.